Yes, students. Uh, welcome back uh, to my video again. As I told you that I'll be practicing grammar with you. So without any further delay, let's get into that PDF and bring in with our grammar. Yes, one morning and the zero answer is already given. So one morning I saw the python curled up on the dressing table. If this is one of your past papers. This is not my question. Just a word of caution because I, I would not want anyone to assume anything. But wherever I have put up my own questions, I'll go ahead and tell you. One morning I saw the python curled up on the dressing table. It was gazing at its own reflection in the mirror. So here the answer is, let me just zoom in a little bit. Here the answer is, Uh -huh. Yes, here the answer is gazing. Yeah, it was gazing at its own reflection in the mirror. I went for grandfather. I went, sorry, I went for grandfather. But by the time, by, by the time we returned to the room, the python had moved on. He was seen in the garden and once the cooks saw him, crawling up the ladder to the roof then we found him on the dressing table here seven i think i forgot to give a you know a dash this dash just a second again i forgot to give this dash here seven you will have a singular singular dash admiring him uh, admiring himself in the mirror he's trying to look better for aunt mabel i said i regretted you know uh, this remark immediately because grandmother overheard and held up my pocket money for the rest of the week. So this would be here. Now, uh, next is your proposition. He found the box just now. Here, if you use the word near the front door, that's also fine. If you use the word outside the front door, that's also fine. Sometimes a preposition would have more than one answer. So please do not be like this is can happen, that can happen. Even if you look at the council's uh, feedback uh, sheet, you'll see how a couple of prepositions would be there. This slash this slash that. So he just he found the box just near the front door or just outside the front door the noise prevented us from sleeping so it's preventing so it's stopping so from sleeping the young man put the flute obviously he'll put the flute not inside his lips but on his lips so on his lips and began to play ashok leaned against the wall again anyone leaning any anyway if it would have been pillar also it would have been the same thing so ashok leans against against the wall the old woman could not get over the shock wherever you have over shock could not get what over the shock uh, again one as this the headmaster presided over the meeting so that's also one preposition that just came to my head ronnie uh, sorry ronnie is married to my cousin ronnie is married to my cousin the young child carried the heavy bucket now here also you could either go with up the stairs or down the stairs either of them is fine there was a steep rise in onion prices not on onion prices but in because the rise is going upwards in onion prices now let's come to your uh join the sentences now join the sentences a lot of sentences have been given by me on the basis of the on the framework was past your paper but has been made by me this is the road an accident took place here now how are we going to approach it clearly it is talking about what it is talking about the road what what kind of road it is it is a road where an accident took place so simply where when you have situations like that like now this is the person i met in the park this is the person uh, whom I met in the park. So in situation like that, we definitely go with what, where, when, depending upon uh, what is it that is being talked about. So this is the road where, uh, but first option is what? This was the road. 
and this is also one of the ways to which you could follow elimination method for people who are panicking who are like we don't know what to do what not to do in case again worst case scenario what are you going to do focus on the tenses and many a times the the options would have the wrong tenses the option would have either the wrong tenses or the sentence construction would be wrong so if you focus on these two things you'd already you're already eliminating wrong options then you're left with one or two correct options only just say for the first one this was the road when an accident took place the tense here is simple present tense the tense here is past tense as you can see so this is incorrect an accident took place here no it's not active voice it's not passive voice this is the road where an accident took place yes it looks correct uh, it looks correct and then you have then you have this is the road on which an accident takes place no we use which for things we do not use which for places so this is the road when accident took place rahul ran all the way to the bus stop he missed the bus the first option despite of we never use of with despite so automatically incorrect in spite of again what is the problem there's no space between in and spite we always have a space between in spite automatically incorrect rahul runs all the way to for all the way to the bus stop to miss the bus no in spite of running all the way to the bus stop rahul misses the bus correct option dina has again this is one of the sentences that's been given by me dina has been a teacher for 30 years she'll now be become a professor dina a professor will now become a teacher incorrect because it says that dina has been a te teacher now she'll become a professor so she is not yet a professor dina who has been a teacher for 30 years is now a professor again will now not is now incorrect tense so option incorrect dina who has been a teacher for 30 years will now become a professor seems okay a uh, dina who is a professor has been a teacher no so automatically correct answer so even if sometimes most if you do not know if you haven't practiced for people who have not been studying and been sleeping so far you could use this method and try and get the right answers for students who have been studying really hard you already know how to approach these kind of uh, questions just practice them she opened the door she greeted her mother so what kind of uh, sentence is this this is a participle sentence where two things are happening simultaneously two things are happening one after another what kind of sentences a uh, participle has participles uh, would have sentences where there would be a reason or one thing is happening after another i think an Uh, again in the previous year 2020 paper you had uh, he jumped to the right he took a turn so jumping to the right he took a turn thing happening one after another so here also she opened the door she greeted her she opened the door to greet her mother no it's not saying that she opened the door to greet her mother it's saying that she it it says that she opened the door and she greeted her mother her mother greeted her no so first one is incorrect on the basis of there's no reason presented here the second one is also incorrect opening the door she greeted her mother yes because one thing is after happening other she greets her mother on opening the door no it's, it also doesn't say that she is opening the door when she is opening the door then she is op uh, greeting her mother no she opened the door she greeted her mother one thing happening after another now transformation of the sentences as soon as the children came in the security guard closed the door again one of the sentences that has been given by me no sooner did the children come in the security guard no sooner did the children come in the security guard yeah the security guard closed the door seems appropriate because we have no sooner and we have did so we have no sooner we have did and we also have come because with did we we'll never use past tense golden rule so maybe hardly did the security guard close the door than the children come in no and with hardly we usually use had and here the combination is when even if you find did with hardly always remember the combination at the back has to be when rather than than no sooner did the children come in than the security guard closed the door seems probable the children came in when the security guard closed the door no that is not given in the sentence no sooner did the children came in automatically incorrect so the answer is number 1 he was responsible for ordering the cake it was his responsibility the answer itself uh, the clue itself is was and the first option is is so automatically gets rejected it was his responsibility that cake should be ordered no it's not saying it was his that cake should be there's no uh, kind of you know ought to should be kind of thing here no command here it was his so 
automatically it was his responsibility to order the cake seems probable the cake's order was his responsibility no so option number c it was his order sorry it was his responsibility to order the cake the bag is too large to fit inside the bo uh, box the bag is so large that it can fit inside the box no it says it's too large that it cannot fit inside so the first option gets uh, rejected the bag is so large that it cannot fit inside the box seems correct the bag is so large that it cannot fit the box no it says the bag cannot go inside the box not that the box can go inside the bag so again read the sentences properly when it comes to transformation the box is so large that it cannot fix again it's not talking about the largeness of the box so option number b is your correct one they cannot go to the zoo they cannot go to the park neither can they go to the zoo nor to the park seems okay they can neither go to the zoo nor cannot go to the park no no double negative so nor cannot go to the park incorrect neither they can go to the zoo nor to the park no neither always it's better when you have neither and then you have can and shall or would or whatever they cannot go to the zoo as well as the park no so the option is in uh, the correct one okay number five hardly did the sports now this is one of the past paper sentence hardly had the sports meet ended so here you have hardly again you can see when hardly had the sports uh, meet ended when the children ran on the field so hardly did the sports meet end when the children ran on the field seems probable hardly had the sports meet end than the children as i told you no hardly the sports meet end the children ran no hardly when the sports meet ended again ended how come it that again incorrect preposition so hardly did the sports meet end when the children ran on the field how cruel just let me erase this how cruel of shylock sorry how cruel shylock was to demand his pound of flesh it was cruel to ask for a pound of flesh no it was cruel of shylock to ask for uh, ask for a pound of flesh seems but here the sentence is exclamatory so emphasis on emotion so it was very cruel of shylock to demand his pound of flesh seems correct it was cruel shylock who demand no we are not doing any descriptive here descriptive adjective uh, kind of thing here so 3 2 1 automatically gets cancelled answer is c he bought both bread and jam not only did he bring again with did we use simple present tense so not only did he bring bread but also jam seems okay not only did he brought again automatically gets rejected not only was tense incorrect jam and bread both was brought by him incorrect so first one if you do not complete your work you will be punished again in these kind of sentence always remember certain things unless is always accompanied by the negative so unless you complete your work you will not be punished unless means still that point like if you do not complete your work so if you complete your work you will not be punished unless equals to not till that point actually uh, unless equals to you know if basically it translates to if uh, wherever we have unless we go with or wherever we have if we usually go with unless so unless you complete your work like till that point or uh, not till that point but that condition so unless is basically like at that specified condition so unless you complete your work you will not be punished so if you are completing your work you will not be punished unless you complete your work you will be punished no it says that if you complete your work you will if you do not complete your work you will be punished but if you are completing then you will not be punished so the second one gets automatically striked out you until you complete your work you will be punished till that point you complete your work you will be punished no it's not saying that until you will be punished you will not complete your work again it's not saying that until you punish you will not complete your work it says if you do not complete your work you will be punished so unless you complete your work except you meet this condition and you will not be punished arun gave ramesh some excellent advice this is not mine this is past paper but again something that usually comes so i have included it in the practice purpose uh, practice paper uh rami arun gave ramesh some excellent advice uh, ramesh was given some excellent advice uh, advice by arun seems probable active and passive voice ramesh gave arun some excellent advice uh, advice sorry not advice uh, ramesh gave arun some excellent advice no arun gave ramesh some excellent advice so incorrect 
एक्सीलेंट एडवाइस वॉज गिवन टू रमेश नो रमेश हैड गिवन एक्सीलेंट एडवाइस टू अरुण अगेन नो अरुण गेव रमेश वॉज गिवन सम एक्सीलेंट एडवाइस बाय अरुण so children these are most probably the pattern the format the kind of sentences that get repeated again and again again and again these are one of the format specific set of questions that get repeated here and there there and here if you practice them you're getting a good practice for tomorrow uh, i'll be putting up one more video for this tomorrow please give me some time because i am i do get busy while teaching and checking and stuff like that but uh, i do keep my promises that so you will be getting a descriptive essay somewhere tomorrow and you will be getting one more practice paper and preposition a list of preposition what i'm going to do is uh, make a list of all the, uh, past papers preposition and we can practice it tomorrow uh, now uh, what i need you to do is please practice them focus on them look at how what pattern is there how is it for people who are panicking and so this is the one of the method is that elimination method that you can do for people who have already practiced this is a good practice for you do not forget to comment down how much you scored uh, out of 20 how much was like how many of them were correct and whether you liked this uh, kind of setup or not and would you want me to do it because i was telling that i'll put up one more video tomorrow so would you want that video or not till then study hard keep working hard all the best for your examination i'm sure you'll do your best